it's Brent Abel here, Web Tennis. I want to show you a point that was played at the 2011 Pacific Coast Senior Tennis Tournament hosted at the Berkeley Tennis Club. And you know, this, this point really demonstrates the value of the server's partner. This is Rick Kepler right here, who is the server's partner. His partner is Brian Corey. And the returner in this point is Rodrigo Prudencio, his partner up here at NET is Brian Thomas. And, you know, one of the things we talk a lot about is, is the fake poach. And this point right here demonstrates, uh, you know, sort of three different looks that the, that the returner is going to have to deal with. Number one, this is what I call the hybrid eye formation. The reason it's a hybrid is, you know, normally in a traditional setup, you know, Rick wouldn't be quite this close to the center service line, he'd be more sort of in the in in the middle of, of the service box that he's standing in, and and yet he's really kind of crowding the middle already, and so typically an I formation, which is where you sort of straddle the center service line, or more of the uh, sort of traditional I don't know if I call it traditional, but the Australian formation where Rick would actually be on the same side of his partner. You know, that would be in this position here. But, you know, Rick's really got himself kind of hung out to dry right here to start opening up this alley. And, you know, one of the things that happened here in this game is that Rodrigo, this is this is the end of the service game, and Rodrigo had been returning serve really well back cross court when Rick and Brian had been sort of in the traditional double setup. Well, now they've decided, you know what, we're going to give Rodrigo a different look. And the reason that... <clears throat> I call this a hybrid eye also is because if you look at where uh, where where Rick is standing right now, I mean, he's really in the path, the serving path of his partner. The only place that Brian could really serve would be right here. Uh, so what's Rick going to have to do? Well, you know, Rick is going to go ahead and he is going to get into a crouch so that his partner's now got... That's a target, the body's a target, and also out wide's a target. And what we're going to see here is, number one, is that Rodrigo is now having to deal with this look. He's having to watch uh, the server, the ball getting tossed over here from Brian. You know, it's over the top of the net part, uh, over, over, over the top of, of Brian's net partner, Rick. That in itself is a visual distraction. The next thing we're going to see Rick do up at net is he is going to throw in a fake. Typically, when we fake, is we fake towards the middle. This time, what Rick is going to do is he's going to fake back towards his alley. So it looks like right now, Rodrigo's seeing the ball. It's crossed the net. It really looks to him as, as if Rick is going to cover back up here. And so he's he's got one eye on Rick. He's got one eye on the ball. Uh, he's got movement back here with Brian. And so there's a lot of visual distraction. So Rick gets out here, and now Rodrigo is still looking at Rick. You know, he doesn't have great space in the ball. Rick is now going. He faked, and now he's going, and Rodrigo ends up mishitting, kind of shanking there. Returns. He's going to have to keep his eye on. There you go. Yeah. There you go. point here is I want you as a service report as a service partner to really start working uh, on your movement especially the fake poach really start timing how do you show a little one step maybe just a shoulder or head fake to the middle and then come back but try to work on something that will actually be some kind of a visual distraction for the returner so right below the video you know what are you thinking let me see your feedback your comments uh, go ahead let her rip have a great day out there.